met the new wife and, yeah, she seems nice enough. She's a nice lady. Also, like that, she's really nice and funny. And I love the way she talks. She's like, oh, my God, I'm like, Jesus. Mm, she speaks my language. Yeah, we had a couple of laughs on that. <laughs> when we were cooking dinner, she made a joke about me dropping the peas on the floor. She said, you're peeing on the floor. They all seem really nice. They seem really nice people. I can see you're going to have a good week. Why, hello there. Nick's sort of speaking of her husband, he sounds like, obviously he seems to be a rough, he seems to be a um, rough in appearance, it would sound by Nicola's descriptions, but but she also talks about him being a uh, pretty nice guy, so I hope uh, I hope he is and that he's uh, looking after Steph and doing the right thing, so. I'm wondering what changes she'll bring, because she's been asking us what we want different, and I've been quite confused as to what we actually need to, because you live this lifestyle and you get used to it, and then you have no idea what other lifestyles are like. I think I've learned a few home truths about Steph. Steph does have a busy life, but that's purely by choice, not necessity. You know, 200 bucks at the beauty parlor, you know, that's like a day's wages. To me, it just seems like she's incredibly insecure. You know, I know I'm not the most beautiful girl in the world, but you know what, I honestly don't care. Shopping with Alex, was fun. Um, I just couldn't believe the money that was spent. And she said to me that, you know, they hide the stuff in the car and when Simon's gone to bed, they bring it up. And that to me, it sounds like a bit guilty about doing it. She wasn't really keen on wearing heels because I always wear heels at dinner, but she doesn't, and she wanted to wear boots, but I demanded that she wore heels. Because, you know, I'm not clammed up all the time, and blah, blah, blah. They're probably thinking that I have low self-esteem for that. I'm happy with who I am now. Sunday, rule change day. After all the rules, me and Nicola had a bit of bonding time, it was kind of fun. We were talking about the rule changes and stuff like that. And she's a pretty good chick, she gets better and better each day. And then at dinner, she made us sit around the table and talk about what we loved about each other, which was really weird. But in conclusion, it was kind of nice to hear thing, good things about yourself that other people see. I just sort of, I don't know, brought them there their little minds a bit more. Most of the rules are actually really good. I love the veggie garden and the chickens and all that. There's no doubt she's a she, she's a pretty good she's a pretty good person. I was a bit surprised. I didn't think um, she'd bring diet into it, but yeah, it's true. We do have a crappy diet, and that needs to be fixed. Josh downstairs probably about ten minutes ago went to the cupboard to get a packet of chips and I said to him, nah, -uh, hang on, put the chips down, go an apple. And you know what? God bless you, Josh, you did it. It's rule changes, you've got to do as she says and if you're not going to do it, then what's the point of being on the show, like? Today was the day where we had to walk the front of the lake with tattoos and piercings in Vinny's clothes to see how Nicola likes to walk around. I feel like a douchebag. I'm glad it's all over, to be honest with you. Girl wore a lip ring, Alex wore a nose ring in there. And just walk around Warners Bay Park for a while and see how it feels to walk in Nicola's shoes. So I was quite insecure about it because I hate tattoos and piercings like on myself because I, I don't like them and I wouldn't want them on me. And let's face it, we all freaking judge. We do. No one's a saint. No matter what you do, where you live, there's no place like your own home.